Hey guys and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. In today's game up on the tabletop is Mini Game Party by Big Potato Games. It plays two to eight players, or more really, for ages eight and up, and you can play for as long as you want. Or play by the basic rules, probably gonna take about 45 minutes to play. In the game Mini Game Party, you're playing a party game of sorts. Uh, the box is gonna come with a wide variety of different items that you'll be utilizing when playing mini games. The game has 101 different mini games you'll be playing and how it works is you square off into teams by voting for your favorite side or favorite team uh, and then revealing that. Then determining what mini game you're playing, utilizing the components to play that game and scoring points based on the number of players on the opposing team who lost. And you'll then rinse and repeat and you'll play as many games as you want. As many, many games as you want. Okay, that's the basic idea of the game. Let's show you the setup, how to play, and my review. Mini game party is very simple to set up. Take all the pieces, place them out on the table within reach of all players, set aside an area that's basically empty on the playing field, and then give everybody a token. These tokens are called voting chips, and these will determine who uh, are the first players. Take the mini game deck and go ahead and shuffle this deck up, place it face up in front of all players, along with the team chooser deck. And then there's gonna be a small mini game deck that you can set kind of aside for now. Everybody's gonna write their name down on this little um, round totaler board. It's a scorecard, which will determine how you score points from round to round, because it will change, because you'll be on different teams. And all the rest of the stuff, just set aside, place it within reach, but maybe kind of off to the side. and. Begin. Yep, that's simple. Take one of these guys and shuffle the decks. Okay, so how do you play the game? Well, first and foremost, you have to decide what team you're going to be on from round to round. And there are a total of six rounds in this game. And how that works, you'll take one of these team chooser cards, reveal it, flip it over. Okay, would you like to be Tofu, can't get enough, or Tofu, no way? Each player is then going to take their little voting chip, which will have a blue and a red side, hide it, place it face down, and then reveal. Ah, I like Tofu, so I'll be on the blue team. And that's how you'll distinguish between teams. Uh, now, also recall that if there are ever going to be all uh, people of the same group, you'll have to actually re-vote or flip over a new one so that you're at least having one versus three or two on two or three on one. Uh, and once teams have been decided with this little deck here, if you're playing with two players, you don't really need to use this, obviously. Then you're going to go on to the minigame. Discard the team chooser card, take the first card from the minigame deck, and then read the card. This one here is a backflip chip uh, challenge. What things you will need, set it up just like this, and then on the back it explains what you do and how you need to win the game. Uh, this one here says, in order to win the challenge, you'll try to flip the voting chips into the cup, balancing a voting chip on the start line on the board. Each player gets three attempts to flip the token into the cup. The most successful player wins it, uh, it for their team. So you'll basically actually kind of utilize the pieces that you see here to complete this challenge. And players will go back and forth on the teams to try and successfully achieve this goal to score points for them themselves and their team. Discard that card after the challenge is done. Write down the points for each player based on uh, who won. So if my team won and it was two on two, then me and my ally would score two points because the enemy team has two players. Then start again. Take this little uh, team chooser card, flip it over, and now would you like to slide or swing? I do the slide or the swing dance, right? And then we'll vote for the team. Then after that, we'll go ahead and draw a new card. Now we're on memory like a sieve. Shuffle the mini card deck and deal them out like this face down. Then we're playing memory game, basically. To win the challenge, be the team to collect the most matching player pairs. Players take turns over two cards of their choice, flipping and matching the pairs, and you keep them to score a point. And you'll flip them over until all the cards have been basically revealed. Score the points and Presto Changeo continue. That's that's the game. That's how this game works. Basically, there are basically 101 different mini games you'll be playing in this, utilizing all the components that you see here, whether it be sliding to succeed, rolling dice, trying to land on these little target boards, or memory challenge games, uh, listening challenge games, touching challenge games, all kinds of little interesting mini games for mini game party. All right, that's it. What do I think about it? Mini game party is the essence of a mini game party game wrapped up into a box. You're gonna have 101 different cards you can play with that uh, have a wide variety of unique styles of game. 
All the games are very simple and straightforward, typically not the rules not being more than about a paragraph each, and they're going to use all the components that you see here on the table. Uh, things like thank your lucky shoes, place a shoe in a cup. And so you'll take one of the cups, you'll take the shoe, you'll place it in the cup. To win the challenge, you'll try to uh, win the most points. Each player gets to tip the shoe out of the cup as many times as they like, and the score determines um, on how the shoe lands. A player can keep rolling and adding up their score, or they can stop and bank their points at any time. If the shoe lands on its flat side, the players lose all their points and their turn is over. When everyone is finished, the player with the most points wins it for the team. So it's kind of a push your luck shoe rolling game. Where you'll take this, you'll roll it, it landed on its side, that's a zero that ends. And then the next player will get to take their turn and they'll have, or the next team I should say, and they'll flip their cup over. Up on now it's on that side, that's one point, and you'll keep going if you want. But in this case, you probably wouldn't need to. Ah, here's another one that's on its front face, that's two points, that's three. Well, I win. Uh, these games are very, very basic games. Uh, they're fairly simple games that you've probably seen before in some way, shape, or form, whether it be uh, like trying to flick a disc and score points, or whether it be shooting balls through hoops. Um, there is a wide variety of different challenges, obviously, and some of them are more complex than others. Some of them involve memory, where you're taking the different random pieces into this box here, and you'll be able to select pieces and place them in here, and then have the other team guess what pieces you put in, and you'll shake this little box up. Yeah, there's a lot. There, to even go through all the challenges would be kind of crazy. Uh, here's one. You'll just need this here, and it says that you're just trying to flip this thing up on top of your head. Obviously, some are better than others. Some of the mini games are very generic in design. I'm like, eh, okay, I guess I'll do this one here. Uh, a lot of them are pretty creative, a lot of fun, uh, involving basically dexterity or memory, uh, and, and just the variety and complexity of all the different pieces. It's a lot of fun. This is a really cool little mini game party game, especially for kids. I would say this would be really, really great for teens to play at a party environment. Uh, the abil ability to kind of switch between teams utilizing your voting chips and based on kind of what players like to do or like to speak four languages or play four instruments. And then they can kind of choose what team they'd like to be on. And that's a lot of fun. I think that's a really cool idea. If you kind of pick on one side where you're all by yourself, you can score a boatload of points against players that all work together on another side of the field. Um, and it balances out based on like how many players are working with you or not. Minigame Party is basically a, a simplistic minigame, ch a chunk of minigames all rolled up into one game and playing throughout them, trying them all out. There's a variety of really great minigames, a few clunkers, a few kind of medium ones that you've already seen before, and the ability that you can also kind of create your own minigames and add to this list is kind of cool as well. A large variety of components and a really unique style game. I haven't really seen a kind of game that lets you make a bunch of, uh, lets you play a bunch of minigames and they've created all of the minigames here that you see. Overall, a solid, fun, little family-friendly minigame, uh, like chunk all rolled up into one. If you're looking for something more complex, obviously this is not going to be where it's at. If you're looking for something light, breezy, easy to play, easy to pick up and learn a bunch of unique games here, this is going to be great for you. Or if you have, uh, especially children, probably 9, 10, 11, we, I played with my younger niece and she was 6 and she went through at least 4 or 5 of these mini games with no problem understanding how they worked. She was obviously not so good at some of them but she was six and this says eight and up. So I probably about right actually, but she had a lot of fun and we played this and enjoyed this. And I think for the most part, most people are gonna enjoy this one as well. It's light, easy, family friendly fun. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Mini Game Party. If you're looking for a copy, there is a link down below in the description from Big Potato Games. You can also check out our channel, like, comment, and subscribe, hit that bell notification button. I'll have a link in the description for this game as well. Thank you so much for watching. We have a live stream on Sundays at 6 30 p.m. PST, and on Thursdays we do a whatnot stream. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to playing a ton of mini games in this party box with you next time.